Hi guys, Stephanie Mullen, aka Final Cut Steph, back with you to show you how to use Rampant's brand new Movie Trailer 01 FCPX Library Template. Yeah, you heard that correctly. This is 100% FCPX goodness. Everything was built inside Final Cut, so you don't need to worry about Motion 5, plugins, or anything else. These are Final Cut libraries, so you can store them anywhere you like, and when you need them, open them up and start editing. Super easy, and this template will have you creating your next movie trailer in a snap. So let's get started. Now before we jump into Final Cut, we're going to take a look at what we get when we download the template. So what you're going to see is you're going to actually start with a, a zip file right here. If you double click that zip file, it's going to leave you with a folder. If we double click that folder, you'll see what's inside. Now the first thing you'll see is there's going to be an installation PDF. This is basically a summary of what, what we're talking about right now. There's some insta installation stuff down here. And you'll see there's a, there's a link to our favorite uh, font. And also there's our phone number. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. And a email address right here. Click on this and you can send us an email. So really helpful information in there. If you have any questions, you can always contact us. The next thing you're going to see is your library. And this, again, is a Final Cut library. So you can store this anywhere you want. Now, before we actually double click this and start opening it in Final Cut, the very first thing you need to do is make a copy. We all know that in Final Cut, which is a really cool feature, it automatically saves. So if you open this up, the actual file right here, you're not going to be able to go back to an original and do another trailer. So what we want to do is we want to right click click duplicate and there we go. We're super, super simple and we have a copy. Now we're not messing with the original trailer. If we ever have to go back to it or do another trailer, we can. So all we have to do now is double click this to open it. And it's going to open up in Final Cut. And here's what you're going to see. You're going to see all this stuff. It's like, oh, it looks so scary, but it really isn't. All you're going to see, all you need to really pay attention to is the scenes right here. This is where you're going to put your footage your project, and then in the do not alter, all it is is going to be uh, like placeholder for you don't really need to worry about. So we don't have to worry about those, but here's how we're going to, we're going to organize them. This is my best advice. What I like to do is I like to put all of my footage per scene so it makes it really easy and fast to put everything into the actual template. So we're going to do that first, and I have all of my footage is already organized 1 through 17, which is really nice. And to do that, all we do is click on the scene. These are just events, so we're not, they're not anything fancy. They're just events. And we're going to drag our footage into each one of these. So there's one, there's two, let's just keep going, three, and then there's four. Again, this is just how I like to organize things. You can organize it however you want. I just like to keep it simple and fast so I can get on to the next thing because, you know, time is time is valuable and we all need to have more of it. So... Putting all these in their own little folders is a really nice way to keep everything organized. So 14, 15, 16, and if I can click on this, 17. All right, now everything's been entered. All of our footage is in all of the scenes. Now we're going to start looking at our actual timeline. So let's go down here and check out what we have. Now, there are a lot of layers down here, and these may all look very scary, but they're actually just compound clips, which is just a timeline inside of a timeline. So to open them and put our footage in is really simple. We're going to start with scene one, and all you need to do is double click it and it's going to open up and you're going to see that there's a video placement holder. We don't need to worry about that. And there's also going to be some other things in here like motion titles and stuff. We don't want to mess with those either. So here's how you do pull your footage down. You just click on scene one. Here's my footage. I want to highlight it and I want to drag it and I want to make sure that that title pops up right here. I don't want to over, I don't want to replace footage. I don't want to do any of that. Just simply placing it in, let all the titles pop up and you're done. Now, because this is a layer by itself, you can actually add effects if you want. You can add different things, whatever you'd like to do. And I'm actually going to retime this. So I'm going to make this go faster. Remember, these are all by themselves, so you can do whatever you want. And I'm going to make it a little shorter. And we're going to pull that back. There we go. Perfect. All right, there's scene one, finished. Click on this little arrow to go back to our final project. And we're going to keep going. Scene two, double click it. Go up to our scene two event. Here's our footage. We're going to grab that. We're going to drag it down and we're going to place it right there. And then we're going to see here, you're going to need to adjust it. So let's go up to the X and adjust so we can see the girl's face. That's perfect. There she is. So she's coming in. She's walking around. That looks nice. Go back to our final project and let's head, hit scene three. So double click scene three. Go up to scene three here. We're going to grab our footage. 
We're going to pull that down, let that title pop up. Remember, we don't want to replace anything. We just want to place it where, where everything pops up. And I want to start this a little bit here. So let's trim that down and let's reposition her just a bit. Again, let's watch that through. Perfect. All right, now we're on to scene four. Again, go up to our event and we want to, let's make sure we can see her. Pull that down and let's reposition. And you'll see here she gets cut off at the end, so let's move her over just a tad bit. There we go. All right, so we just did scene one, scene two, scene three, and scene four. Looking good. All right, scene five, double click it, open up your event, drag your footage, and I'm going to actually cut this here. I want to see her running. So let's drag that down, pop that title up, reposition so we can see her running, play that through. Perfect. All right, scene six. Go to scene six event. Here's our creepy dude. He's creepy. Make sure we see him. There we go. Looks nice. All right, perfect. Scene six. Now let's move on to scene seven. And we have her running here. And I there's a part where she looks right there. She looks back. That's the part I want to get. So let's uh, cut this out a little bit. There we go. Drag that down. Put that in there. Make that sure that title pops up. Let's reposition her. And let's make sure we watch it. Looks good. And you don't have to worry about this extra stuff here because our compound clip is keeping this where it's supposed to be. So don't worry about trimming it or anything. Keep it simple. Keep it there so you can edit it later if you needed to be. Now we are, did seven. Now let's do scene eight. Go to scene eight. And this is here. Pull that down. Let's watch this. All right. And you'll also notice about scene eight, this is our first title right here. And before I talk about that, I want to talk about this red clip right here. This is an adjustment layer and it's red because you don't really want to mess with it. The only thing I, you want to do is either turn it off or turn it on. So right now you'll see that it's strobing. If you didn't want that strobe effect, you just press V and it turns it off. No strobe, V, strobe. V off, no strobe, V on strobe. I like the strobe, so we're gonna leave that on. Now let's talk about this title right here. That's our very first one. So let's click on that. And you'll see it brings up our title tool over here in the inspector. So let's put in, we're gonna put in our first title of dot, dot, dot. We're gonna say action packed fun. There we go. And you'll see here it comes. And again, you can work, you can play with the font size. If you want to make it a little smaller, you can play with the baseline right here. If you wanted to make it up a little bit, just like that. And so now we have our first title. Let that render a second and whoop, action packed fun. Perfect. All right, moving on. Look how easy this is. So moving on to scene nine, double click it, go to scene nine, grab our footage right here. We want to cut this down a little bit. Drag that down, pop that title up, repositioned, and let's play that through. Perfect. Now go to scene 10, double click that. Scene 10 event. Ooh, it's our, she's running away from our creeper. So let's go ahead and put that in, pop that title up. Okay, now we can edit this out. We can reposition it. Let's see, and we need to be able to see her running. So let's find out where she's actually running. Maybe right here. Let's actually cut a little bit of this out. Pop that title up again. And reposition her. There she is. So if we watch this now, there she's running. Perfect. Back to our final project. That was 10. Let's click on 11. Scene 11's right here. She's walking in this creepy place. We definitely want her looking behind her because she's worried that the creeper's coming and he is coming. So let's put her there, drag this down, pop up that title. We need to reposition her. All right, just like that. She's looking around. Now we want that place where she's actually turning around. So let's do this. Yeah, let's make it a little bit shorter. Nice, maybe a little bit, even a little bit shorter than that. 
Perfect. All right, back to this. So now we've got 9, 10, and 11. Now let's go to 12, double click 12, scene 12. Oh, it's our creeper again. He's back. All right, so let's put him down here. Pop that title up. Definitely going to have to reposition. Probably going to have to cut a little of this out. There he is. Pop that trailer, that title up. And reposition. There he is. Sitting there so creepy. So just sitting there creepy. All right, there you are, creeper. You're in our scene. All right, scene 12. Moving on, double click scene 13. Go to our scene 13. Our girl's distressed because she can't get out of this creeper's crazy maze. Who knows what's happening? Let's reposition her. There we go. Let's watch this. All right, back to our project. Scene 14, double click. Go to scene 14. And here we are. She's trying to get out. She cannot. Put that there, let the title pop up. Let's reposition. There you go, and you'll see this one has a different animation, so make sure that you don't cut off your uh, video here. Make sure, so if, you, if I move this too far, you would see white space, see that? We don't want that. So make sure when you're doing that, if you happen to see white space or that video layer behind there, you've gone too far. So just reposition your video on the X layer. So there we go, she's trying to get out. Let's go back to our project. That was 14, so we're going to 15. Here's 15 right here, another creepy hallway, so let's drag that down, oops. Let's drag that down and let that sit there. You'll see there's no title layers here, which is really awesome. But you know what we can do, we can add another speed ramp here, so let's do some retiming, pressing Command R, retime that down, just make it faster. Like that, let's make it a little bit faster than that. Woohoo, there we go, back to our our master project here, you'll see this is our second title. So if we click on our second title, we can put in here, we can say, oh, dot, 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 five stars. Let's make sure you can see this. So let me highlight over this. All right, five stars. We're going to make a space. And I'm going to say a non-stop thrill ride. And who said that? Well, me, of course. So final cut, Steph. Now here's where you can get into some fun uh, with your manipulation, with your sizing and your tracking and all that. So I want my five stars. Let's actually, let's start with the thrill ride. And we're gonna make this a little smaller and we're gonna make the thrill ride be a little closer to a nonstop. And for some reason, I need to scroll that up. I wanna make five stars a little smaller and I wanna make Final Cut Steph come down, be smaller than that. Super tiny, put it at the bottom, and then we want to make it come up. And I want to make the uh, five stars here a bit smaller, and I want to make it go down a little. There we go. Five stars, a non-stop throw ride says Final Cut Steph. And if we watch that come through, very, very, there we go. Perfect. All right, now that's going to keep rendering while we keep working. So we just did 15, we did our second title, moving on to scene 16, double click scene 16, go to our event, these creepy stairs. We're gonna put that down here, here you go. You're gonna see our stairs going. Go back to our master project, and we're gonna go to scene 17. And we're gonna add in this picture of the girl right here, thinking about getting out of this prison that she's in, I don't know, I don't know what she's doing. And you'll see there's a couple things here, and I want to point these out to you. You'll see this is matted. And if we actually click on this one, this is the only title that we have options on in this with this template. So you'll see here you have a right mat and a left mat. So if I click that, there's your right mat. So it's going to frame your video on the right side. Or you can frame it on the left side. Now if we go back to our master and we look at our stairs here, we want our video to be on the left side. So go back to scene 17. I want my mat to be on the left, and then I need all I need to do now is reposition my girl so you can actually see her. And then what I'm going to do, be, if I go back here, you're going to see this is overlaid. See how it's overlaid like that? I want it to be a little more see-through, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn off video 17, press V, and I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. 
And then when I come back here, you're going to see that she's a little bit more transparent down here at the bottom in the, in the image sh shows through. Now you can also come in here and you can work on the opacity and turn that down if you would like. And you can still see it. There's a couple things you can do there. So pretty neat. I like those options. Remember, double click, click on this, and you can do matte left or right, depending on what you want to see. Okay, so it's up to you. So let's go back to our final. Here we go. We have this scene. She's looking perplexed, coming through, blinking. I love it. And keep moving on to our final trailer. And this is going to be your uh, title of your movie, title of whatever you're showing. Oh, there's a hashtag in here, and then you can put your URL. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on title, and we can say October 13th. You know, maybe it's Friday the 13th. And we can say hashtag final cut films. And then we can say, you know, go see it. www.goseeit.com. And you can change the sizing on these as well. Make it smaller, make it bigger. You can change the, the font on all of the titles, whatever you'd like, whatever you you've works with your titles. And then you can also double click on the background color and change this to anything you would like as well. So maybe you want it to be pink. Maybe you want it to be orange for October whatever you want. It's up to you. All right. So there's our final title, just like that coming soon, October 13th. And we're finished. If we press home and we play this through, here's our finalized movie trailer. And that's it. Super easy, so, so, so easy. And all of this was done inside of Final Cut. It doesn't get any easier than that. I didn't have to install any templates. I didn't have to do anything in motion. I did it all inside my editor and I did it in less than like 20 minutes. And that was talking to you guys. So very, very simple. Definitely recommend this. I love that it's a library template. I could not, I just can rave about it. So if you would like to see this template or any other rampant FCPX template, head on over to rampantfcpx.com. Also, for being such a wonderfully amazing person, that's you, we'd like to give you 20% off your next template order. Simply enter Run Rampant and take advantage of some sweet discounts right in your shopping cart. Until next time, I'm Stephanie Mullen, aka Final Cut Steph from Rampant Design Tools. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!